Good afternoon, friends. Welcome to some time together in the Word of the Lord. It's January the 11th today, and I'd like us to notice some of the words of Jesus today in Mark chapter 4. The backdrop for this is Jesus is in a boat with his disciples on the Sea of Galilee. A great storm comes up very suddenly, and his disciples, along with Jesus, who are all in the boat are being tossed about. The disciples are afraid that this is going to be their end. And so they wake Jesus up and ask him to help. And Jesus does. And notice what takes place in verse 39. And he awoke and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was great calm. We see in a passage like this, on the surface here, very clearly, Jesus' authority, the authority he has over his creation, that he made all things and therefore he is also able to still even nature itself, to quiet it when it gets excited and out of hand, you might say. But let's apply those words to other scenarios in our life. Let's take, for instance, the storm that is going on in our country these days between different political views. There is unrest in our nation's capital. We saw that last week. And we, as Christian people, we come to our Lord and, and we say to him in so many words what the disciples said to Jesus in the boat, Lord, don't you care that we are about to die here? Don't you, don't you see this storm that is going on? Won't you do something about it? And, and we, we hear Jesus say, peace, be still. Now, does that mean that he will calm the storm that is going on in our political environment? He is able to do that. He is Lord of heaven and earth. And yet, perhaps what he chooses to do often in many cases is not always to calm the storm that is going on outside of us, but you might say to calm the storm that is taking place within us that he is, in other words, able to bring peace to us in the midst of frightening and difficult times. And, and so I share this word with you today, encouraging you to believe that it is true, that, that when we have those, those weary and tiring days, those fearful times in life, that we can go to our Lord as his disciples did here in Mark 4, and we can say to him, Lord, would you help us? And he will. And he is able to give us his peace, not necessarily taking away the troubles that are there, but calming us in the midst of those troubles. And he is able to do that because he is the Prince of Peace and he has overcome the world and everything in it. And so I share these words with you so that you would continue to put your trust in the Lord because we know that he is one who has, has taken care of those things that were of the utmost importance in our life, in particular our sin. He has given us salvation. He has given us the gift of everlasting life. And if he has done things as enormously important as that, he will also be able to help us with these day-to-day -day circumstances that come along, even when they are very worrying and fearful to us. So let's pray and ask him to intervene. Lord, we pray that you do that here in our country in these days, even today, that you bring calm and peace. And we pray, Lord, that you would also do that in our hearts and in our lives this day as we face uncertain times. We thank you that you were able to provide us with this, and we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Take care and God bless you, friends.